Johnny Depp isn't your typical Hollywood icon. He has made a career of portraying bizarre characters while showcasing a unique fashion sense that most people could never pull off. But despite his many achievements, Depp's current legal troubles against his ex-wife, Amber Heard, haven't done him any favors. He was already fired from Pirates of the Caribbean and his next film, the third in the Fantastic Beasts franchise, appears to be in limbo. But things are starting to look good for the actor as recorded phone calls have revealed that Heard had blackmailed him for her fake injuries. They tried stoning me, my dear. It did not work. What's up guys? Welcome back to Screen Lab. We will be giving you 10 facts you probably didn't know about the actor behind Captain Jack Sparrow, Willy Wonka, Edward Scissorhands, and Sweeney Todd. Stay tuned as we will be giving you insights on Depp's personal life and career, and you will be surprised how versatile this man actually is. Actor, musician, and more recently, businessman. So, get your bottle of rum ready as we will be counting down the top 10 things you didn't know about Johnny Depp. To the Black Pearl. Number 10. The Edward Scissorhands Fossil Edward Scissorhands is considered as one of the greatest cult films of all time, essentially launching Depp's career into superstardom. It also would become the first of many partnerships between Depp and visionary director Tim Burton. The movie continues to be referenced in pop culture today, and its popularity has even reached the fields of science. In 2013, scientist David Legg uncovered a 505 million year old fossil that resembled a sea creature with scissor-like claws in Kootenay National Park, British Columbia. Legg, who admitted he is a Depp fan, decided to name the new species Kootenchella Deppi in honor of Depp's classic 1990 film. Chella is Latin for claws, while Deppi, well you know what it is. I think you should just come home with me. Number 9. Donations to Heath Ledger's Daughter The Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus would be Heath Ledger's last film before tragically passing away in 2008 due to an accidental overdose. With Ledger's death occurring in the middle of the film's production, Depp, together with Colin Farrell and Jude Law, would be cast to replace Ledger in certain scenes. In a touching act, Depp would convince his fellow actors to honor the late Oscar winner by donating their earnings in the film to Ledger's then three-year-old daughter, Matilda. In a 2009 interview, Depp recounted that he was honored to be stepping into Ledger's shoes in Imaginarium, despite having a small role, and also first asked for the blessing of Ledger's family to be part of the movie. Depp again honored the late actor by naming the portion of his private island Heath's Place. Number 8. The Jimmy Kimmel Bromance Celebrities getting a smooch on with talk show hosts have been going on for the longest time. You had Julia Roberts kissing David Letterman, Jennifer Aniston smooching Ellen DeGeneres, Ryan Reynolds recreating the notebook kissing scene with Conan O'Brien, and Stephen Colbert practically getting kissed by most of his guests. Johnny Depp is no stranger to kissing late night hosts as well, kissing Jimmy Kimmel every opportunity he gets. Depp kissed Kimmel three times when he was a guest on Jimmy Kimmel Live in 2013 to promote his blockbuster, The Lone Ranger. The bromance would be rekindled three years later with Depp making a surprise appearance at the same show while singer Pink was narrating a story about the actor. Depp and Kimmel would then share a quick peck at the Grammy winner's expense. Number 7. Business Partners and Friends Speaking of Depp's relationship with Heath Ledger, he had also developed strong relationships with a few celebrities. The obvious one is director Tim Burton. Before DiCaprio and Scorsese, there was Burton and Depp. The pair have made eight films together and produced one of the most, if not the most successful, actor-director partnerships in Hollywood history. Edward Scissorhands, Sleepy Hollow, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, it's quite clear that Depp's best films have been with Burton at the helm, and Burton's best films are with Depp as the leading man. Reveal yourself! Did you know that Depp is also good friends with actor Nicolas Cage and legendary Rolling Stones guitarist Keith Richards? Depp and Cage have been drinking buddies since the 1990s, with Cage actually being the person who convinced Depp to go into acting. And as for Richards, the two are known to be close friends. Depp, also a talented musician, has been seen rocking with Richards and is currently developing a documentary on the iconic Guitar Man. And if you're wondering where the actor got his inspiration for Jack Sparrow's character, look no further than the Keith himself. Number 6. He founded a production company. Infinitum Nil is probably Depp's best kept secret. He founded the film production company in 2004 and is currently being run by his sister, Christy Dombrowski. Infinitum Nil, which translates to Nothing Lasts Forever, has developed seven films since its inception. 
Among these films include Martin Scorsese's animated hit Hugo and Tim Burton directed dark comedy Dark Shadows and the western flick The Lone Ranger. Despite the company being run by his older sister, Depp still has creative control for all the films being released, either acting as an actor and or producer. In 2012, Depp also started a publishing company bearing the same Infinitum Nil name in partnership with publishing giant HarperCollins. Four books have been released so far, including The Unraveled Tales of Bob Dylan, written by Douglas Brinkley. Still there? Make sure to keep watching until the end of the video as we reveal something about Johnny Depp and his love for pirates. Savvy. Number 5. Chocolate Allergies Did you know that whipped cream isn't whipped cream at all unless it's been whipped by whips? And did you know that Depp was allergic to chocolates as a kid? The actor, who had starred in two films revolving around chocolate, 2000's Chocolat and 2005's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, was actually allergic to chocolates growing up. Despite allergies staying mostly with the person for the rest of his or her life, they do go away in some cases, and Depp is the perfect example. The pale-faced chocolate mischief, Willy Wonka, is still one of Depp's most recognizable roles, and it would have been hard to envision another actor playing the part. Number 4. He Collects Barbie Dolls Some people collect sneakers, some collect stamps, and some collect action figures. Johnny Depp collects insects, animal skeletons, and wait for it, Barbie dolls. In fact, according to the actor, he was having difficulty in finding another storage room for his dolls at one point. Depp revealed in an interview with Elle magazine that he started his collection right after his daughter, Lily Rose, has stopped collecting them. He also mentioned that his collection included dozens of limited edition and celebrity dolls, including Beyonce, Elvis Presley, and the high school musical cast. And obviously, he owns dolls based on his characters as well. Imagine Depp throwing a tea party with his Jack Sparrow, Willy Wonka, and Mad Hatter Barbies. No, we can't either. Number 3. Johnny Depp, the Rockstar If it wasn't for Nicolas Cage, we wouldn't be seeing Depp playing all those iconic characters over the years. But music was Depp's first love and he even envisioned himself of becoming a rock star when he was 12 years old. In the early 1980s, he formed a band named The Kids and was also a guitarist for Florida-based metal band Rock City Angels. Even with his hectic Hollywood schedule, the actor never lost his passion in music. In 1993, Depp opened a nightclub in Sunset Strip, West Hollywood called The Viper Room, where rock icons would frequently guest, such as Red Hot Chili Peppers bassist Flea and Sex Pistols guitarist Steve Jones, among others. The actor would then collaborate with a number of artists and bands for the next three decades, including Shane McGowan, Marilyn Manson, Iggy Pop, Oasis, and Aerosmith. By 2015, Depp would then form Hollywood Vampires, a supergroup consisting of himself, Alice Cooper, and Aerosmith guitarist Joe Perry. The band has two albums and has been touring ever since. And did we mention Depp sings in his movies as well? Number 2. He only got married twice. It's no coincidence that Depp has been voted as the sexiest man alive twice. He possesses a mysterious vibe and irresistible charm that has got not just fans, but Hollywood's biggest actresses swooning. Despite Depp's many partners over the years, including high-profile relationships with Kate Moss and Winona Ryder, and flings with celebrities such as Jennifer Grey and Juliette Lewis, the Kentucky-born actor is only married twice. Depp's first wife was Lori Ann Allison, a makeup artist whom he met before he even became an actor. The two tied the knot in 1983, before getting divorced two years later. Depp wouldn't be married again for the next 32 years, declaring eternal vows to Aquaman actress Amber Heard during a private ceremony in 2015. But as you know by now, those vows would only last 15 months. Things would only get worse as the two are locked in an ongoing legal battle, with both accusing each other of domestic abuse. But after Heard's recorded phone calls surfaced online, it appears that Depp has the upper hand. And number one. Jack Sparrow 24-7 Oftentimes, actors are identifiable by one or two roles in their careers. You have Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man, Mark Hamill as Luke Skywalker, Rowan Atkinson as Mr. Bean, and the entire cast of Friends as their Friends counterparts. 
Johnny Depp, also having played a number of memorable characters in his career, may forever be defined by one role, Captain Jack Sparrow. Depp has played the loopy pirate for five films now, starting with 2003's Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, up to 2017's Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. There is no denying that Depp loves being Jack Sparrow, but did you know he stays in character almost every day? According to Pirates producer Jerry Bruckheimer in a 2017 interview, he says that the actor brings his pirate costume with him all the time. Bruckheimer's statements appear to be true as Depp, who was nominated for an Oscar for Curse of the Black Pearl, regularly makes surprise visits at hospitals, wearing his full Jack Sparrow costume. And only recently, he spoke with three children at the Queensland Children's Hospital via video call, complete with full pirate gear as well as a pirate-themed background. Although he had been initially fired from the franchise in 2008 due to his legal battles, rumors are circulating that Disney may be bringing him back for a sixth film. Unlike other actors who have shied away from the roles that made them famous, it's great to see Depp continuing to embrace his pirate alter ego after all these years. And, despite his oddball persona and legal troubles, you simply just can't hate the guy. So there you have it. Of all the things we've listed, which Johnny Depp revelation surprised you the most? List them down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, you can also check out the 8 iconic Christopher Nolan scenes that made us shipped. And of course, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And if you are a fan of Hollywood's most famous oddball, share this video with your family and friends. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.